Hi guys, and welcome to Fun With Balloons. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a balloon column stand out of wood. Okay, so we're all trying to make things cheap and do things ourselves and sometimes the professional balloon stands can be super expensive. And sometimes you need something a little sturdier than a lamp. I use a lamp for a lot of things, but sometimes you need something a little sturdier. So I've got a pre-cut piece of three quarter inch uh, finished wood. It's smooth on both sides and it is a two by four. So I'm gonna make my bases as a two by two. I'm just gonna cut this in half. I've got um, a couple of these, the little flanges. I'm going to need some of these. Now, these are actually covered, they're covered in like a grease, so be careful. You don't wanna wipe them off before you use them because they're kind of gross. You're going to need measuring tape, pencil to mark, a straight edge, some screws, screwdriver, saw, eye protection. I know I should use something other than sunglasses, but whatever. I got ear protection, which I should use something other than these as well. But here's where we are. took the, the little flap out of a box because I want to put a little handle on these. So I'm going to measure first the halfway point of one of the sides. And then I'm going to measure, I don't know, an inch, an inch and a half in. This is a speed square. You just line it up against and it helps give you a nice straight edge. And so I marked the center and then a couple of the other edges so that I can line my thing up. Next, I need to use a paddle bit and drill through the wood so that I can get my jigsaw started to do a nice shape here. Next, we get to use the jigsaw, which is one of my favorite tools ever kids gave it to me for Mother's Day a couple years ago. And then I'm just gonna use my saw, go around. I think I traced out. Okay, so now I've got these two boards and they're a little messy right now. I'm gonna clean them up with some sandpaper. is that it will make transport so much easier because 
I'll be able to just back to back. You could leave them like this, or you could paint them. Now I'm gonna go ahead and paint them because I think that I like when my bases are either black or white. I tend to just stick with black just so that it kind of disappears easier. And then if I need the pole to be a different color, I'll just cover up the balloon so it blends in. But I'm gonna paint these black. And then these, from earlier, just screw in here. Like so. And you can get longer ones of these. Uh, I just showed them small right here. But you can get, you know, four foot, five foot, whatever you need size of this stuff. It's a uh, metal conduit. And so you just screw it in and put something down to protect it when I paint it. I'm just going to use spray paint. I'm not too worried about getting the flange painted on, but I was going to put a little bit of tape so that the center doesn't get paint on it. that this video brought value to your day. If it did, consider sharing it on your favorite social media or with a friend. Thanks, bye.